Hey everybody, this is going to be a tutorial for how to set up Core 2 in Reaper. Uh, as of today, this version of Reaper is 3.69. This process is actually very, very straightforward, and I am going to show you the shortcuts that I use to set it up, and then um, we'll take a little uh, deeper dive into the actual routing uh, that's going on here. So first step is right click over here and insert virtual instrument on new track then you can type in core and choose this 2 16 channel version now when you click OK there will be a nifty little dialog box that says do you want to add the following tracks for this effect if not only the stereo 1 2 outputs will be audible without further routing well, sure, I would like all of these stereo outputs to be mapped to their own tracks, so I will click yes. Ta-da! All right, so we've got our eight outputs. <clears throat> the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we set core properly up to be routed this way. So I'm going to insert seven more channels and map them all to the plugin outputs and map the MIDI channels. And if you've seen the other tutorial for FL Studio, uh, you'll know how to do this already. And it's a little bit tedious, but actually uh, you can save the template later on and then you won't have to worry about doing this step every time because it does get a little bit tedious. So now that's set up, I'm going to look for a sound here, even though it's not going to make any difference because you're not going to be able to hear it in this tutorial, but you will be able to see what's going on. <coughs> so uh, here's something nifty too, is if you go over here to options, you notice uh, here's this build multi-channel routing. So like say I had said no to that dialog box, I could just do it all automatically later by this option. But there's also this build 16 channels of MIDI routing to this track. So I'm gonna click that and bam, we've already got our MIDI channels all set up. Um, you notice that we've got channels nine through 16 and we're not even using those in the core performance. So I'm just gonna remove these tracks. But that's basically all there is to setting this up. I've already done it in whatever couple minutes that it took. So um, <clears throat> if you want to know more about the routing, you click on this button right here. And uh, actually, if you just hover it, it will give you a tool tip and tell you exactly what the receives and the sends are. It's receiving from the MIDI channels, and it's sending to the out channels, the audio channels. And if you click on it, you can look at the exact sends where the audio is being sent. Um, sending and receives you can add a new send if you wanted to add another channel and make it send there um, and then here are the receives from the MIDI and you can do this for every track click on the routing and it'll show exactly what data it's sending and to where um, let me go ahead and show you very quickly some automation um, it's going to be important um, to worry about this because the last that I heard and I haven't actually tested this but you actually need this plugin window up you need it open in order for the automation to work so let's test this out um, right click here and choose right and then hit play and uh, we're, we're getting it it's it's working it's, it's, it's definitely writing that's good. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen the capabilities of what this can do, but if you right click here and choose reduce number of points, you can drag this slider to the left and the automation becomes much easier to edit with fewer points. 
And so that way, if you need to change uh, a big dramatic curve, it's much easier to do because you don't have a thousand points to drag, you only have one or two. So it's already set back to uh, lat touch read mode, so let's just play it and see if the sound moves back to where it's supposed to. And it looks like it's working very well. Um, so another thing that you can do is I'm going to take off the record arm <clears throat> and I'm going to record MIDI here. Just some quick, just a quick few notes. Now what I can do is, I can come down here to this output, and I can right click and choose record the output, the stereo latency compensated output of this track. I'm going to hit record, and then I'm going to actually record this audio onto this track. And that makes it really easy. Um, then you can bypass core and just work directly with the audio um, in terms of chopping it up or, or, or looping or whatever you need to do and uh, not even worry about the MIDI aspect of it. Um, just realize that when you do, when you are playing the audio, make sure you bypass this effect or mute the MIDI channel because otherwise you're going to get both the audio from the core output and the audio from this media so just make sure that you know which one you're dealing with but at any rate um, I hope that this tutorial was helpful and hope that it offers you some um, new possibilities in making music peace thanks for watching